I'm at a rental property and the owner of the property asked me to take a look at this medium large stone pine. It's an Italian stone pine, Pinus pinea, and they are concerned that the tree is falling over. Now I knocked on the door and nobody's home so I have to base all my opinions on what I can find and it does indeed appear that uh, there was a pretty radical uplifting going on here. There's a lot of cracking going on, which appears to be fairly fresh as the wall is stretching. It would be easy to guess that it's a, a raised area based upon the roots coming up. But when I, when I walk along the root system up here, um, I can sense a hollowing underneath. So I can, I can feel it. If you stomp on the area around the roots, if there's voids underground, you can feel you know, the, there's a bit of a vibration going on. The cracking in the wall uh, does appear to be quite fresh. This would all be discolored and um, and have a lot of dirt in it. So um, that tells me that it has moved a bit. So, <laughs> so far I've got two strikes against this tree. Uh, stone pines are recognized for limb failures. And this particular limb, which is about, uh, it's a big limb, it's about 30 inches in diameter right here, about 24 over here. It has a massive amount of weight on it. So when I look at this crotch, there's quite a, a bit of um, callus growth here, but these oftentimes become points of failure. And if I look over here, there is a bit of a void that goes down in here. So uh, the likelihood of this limb splitting off is very real. Now you can say, well, why don't you just cut it off? That would greatly reduce the, the strain on the tree, but it doesn't mean it'll settle back in. You could also take off this limb over here and just leave kind of a funny looking, um, <laughs> kind of a lollipop of a tree, but uh, that's a possibility. If I go over to the other side, yeah, the cracks go all the way through. Now it does have a pretty significant lean to it. When I look up into the canopies, um, I don't see a, a huge separation between the two. Now they, they may have been more intermingled. My guess is that this tree has shifted and moved probably uh, as much as two feet. Now I don't have any evidence to back that up, so I need to talk to the, the uh, property owner. I'm sure that they were informed by the tenant that something was going on. So um, unfortunately, the, the fact that it's moved as much as it has and lifted as much of the roots, it, there is a, a strong possibility that there could be some root cracking or some, uh, some weakening under there. So they've got two options. Option number one, would be to do some radical weight reduction on this tree and greatly reduce the strain on this and it would likely make it, um, I can't use the word safe, but I can say much, much safer because the leverage would be taken off of it. Uh, and the other option would be to take it out completely. So, tree is about uh, 40 feet tall, has a trunk diameter of about, uh, I should measure this one exactly, but I'm going to say 40 inches at the union. They always say it at breast height, uh, diameter breast height, which is four and a half feet, which puts it up here, but that makes it this part of the Y, so I'd go down to the bottom and that's a, a better indication. So I would say uh, in the report, I'll say diameter at two feet because it's a Y. It's a double trunk tree. Uh, the foliage looks really good. There aren't any, any issues um, other than the fact that it's a, a species that uh, is recognized for failures.